So this is the path that we have in the meadows, and I don't want to change it. I like the idea of moving forward, not redoing old stuff. And it sort of suits like the farming kind of area that we have going down here. But if we look up this way, this kind of forks off in a different direction. I like the dirt path I've got going here, coarse dirt. So I'm going to start by turning this into coarse dirt, uh, and then we're going to add some texture to it. And I don't yet know exactly what kind of palette we're going to use, but I think if I was to guess, I would say we're probably going to end up with something that looks, where's a good place to maybe test this? Maybe we can just do a test over here. So I'm thinking about all the colors that are in kind of like the coarse dirt range. And I'm thinking that maybe some slabs. I know we've got uh, brown terracotta, podzol. I don't want to put soul sand on the road just because if you do, if you do hit it, then it does slow you down. Um, and I want to say that's all the browns. Like there's really not much much beyond that. Oh, sorry, except for, of course, um, log blocks. So if we go down this way, and let's pretend that this creeper hole, which needs to be filled in anyway, uh, is part of our path. And if we were to create a palette for this, uh, let's just maybe do that and then we'll maybe take out that and just to kind of give us a feel for like a slight curve in it. So what I would do first is cover the whole thing in coarse dirt. And I do have like a, a slight texture variation that I pulled in from Jermsey Boy. It's not the same. I, I edited it a little bit myself, but that gives us kind of like the base the base for the path, right? But then what I'm thinking is that we can go in with say logs and I don't know whether this stuff is going to be too dark or not, but some of the things that we can do is say, put some stuff in like this. So I like the concrete powder. I think that's going to work out well to give it like a little bit more of a, a textured feel. And there's also planks, and I don't know if these are the right color. Yeah, so those are maybe a little bit too, they're not red enough, I think is maybe the, the issue. So the dark oak might be the better way to go for those. And unfortunately, I don't think these change with direction, no. Well, I mean, the good news is where the path is going to go that way. So they're going to be the kind of the way that I want them on the path. But I was hoping that one of these blocks would jive. That's not terrible, but it's still the wrong, still the wrong kind of color. These ones are directional at least so that we could always have them go like different ways like that. So that's cool. Ooh, I wonder if one of the strip logs, one of the strip logs might be the right color. What if, what about stripped spruce or stripped dark oak maybe? So let's just trade these in for some spruce and some dark oak. I need to empty my inventory here. Um, hmm. Drop this here. It's that point in the design where everything is just too much, too much stuff in the old inventory. Uh, that's pretty good. And then we probably just don't need those. Um, so let's do spruce log. That, I thought I grabbed it, so. Dark oak. I guess we could always try dark oak stairs just in case. Podzol we didn't try. I can't think of anything else that's brown. 
coarse dirt or is that a retexture of the coarse? Um, it's it's the same coarse dirt as default, but then it's got some alternative stones in it. There's three variations, and I also really reduce the frequency of them, so they only show up like 15% of the time or something. Um, otherwise, you just end up with these little gray speckles everywhere. So I'm betting, yeah, that's way too light. So the oak log isn't terrible. I should have dumped a lot of this dirt. That's why my inventory is full because I have all this on me. Okay, that should be better. So let's try puzzle. Probably going to be, actually, you know, that's not too bad. We could probably use that maybe in some of the corners, some places like this. Looks pretty good next to stuff like that. Um, so this is dark oak and this is spruce. I'm betting spruce is gonna be the right color. So spruce is the better temperature. It's just dark. And what if we do this? Not bad. So that's better. So stripped, maybe stripped spruce is the way to go. Does make the podzel stand out a little bit. So maybe we'll dial back the podzel. We could use it in specific cases, like maybe near a swamp or something, but don't know about that. So let's try more spruce logs. Dirt. So I'm liking that. Dark oak is really dark. But not bad. We could... Hmm, I wonder if spruce stairs would look good. Just because the shadow would make them look darker. Like if we put a spruce stair on the end of this. Yeah, that's not too far off. And if we change, like if going the other direction, if we had them happen in this way, like this, Yeah, that's not terrible. The only other thing that might work is uh, either some light gray concrete. And Alistair's got invisibility potions, but I have particles on. I can hear him. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, oh, he's got a bow now. <laughs> I can see the bow moving around. I forget some of the fun stuff that you can do in this game. <laughs> that was close. Just a floating sword now. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to... Uh, grab... Nice. Right, I was looking for some gray that we could maybe pull in. I don't know if cobble's going to be right. Andesite might be kind of fun. Light gray concrete I wanted to try. And gravel is the other thing that I wanted to check out. So we'd have to do the gravel sparingly because I feel like it's really going to stand out. So like if I put a piece of gravel there, it works only because I've got, um, I've got this other gravel in the texture. So that kind of helps. Uh, let's see here. Uh, from a distance, it's not too bad, actually. So gravel might be one of the things. I feel like the light gray concrete might be a little bit too light. What does the chat room think? Brown mushroom block, uh, that's a good idea. I use brown mushroom in 
riverbeds because it looks like silt. Uh, do I have any brown mushroom rock? I do. Paranor with the excellent suggestion. Let's see. Is Paranor right? Paranor is right. Dude. So that's a, that's a good light block. That's not too light. I'm liking that quite a bit. And then for a dark, oh, hey, look, an eye McFly has appeared. Uh, what else could we do here? I feel like I like the mushroom block. Good call, Paranor. Good call. Um, I just, I want to try and work out a gray. I feel like this is going to be too bright. Yeah. Maybe where the path is wider and we can have a lot more brown around it, that could work. But I'm thinking, um, something that's nice about the dirt, uh, the slab too, is that we can use it to kind of like give the path an edge as well if we want to. And it always has gravel in it. Um, it's like a permanent, uh, a permanent texture. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, have a variation. It's just, it's always got these little pebbles in it. So it's a nice way to keep it. We could even add it on purpose. Like if you really wanted there to be um, a specific. Oh, does the top slab go differently? I thought I was going to be able to put. Oh, two of them gives the, the coarse dirt texture. Right. Okay. That makes, that makes sense. So the top slab is always going to be regular coarse dirt. Yeah. All right. Well, I could always change that later. Um, or we could do something like this to add a little bit of dark, but then you, you bounce, <clears throat> you bounce on it, which is no good. So I think the only thing missing is a darker, darker brown. So there's brown terracotta. And I feel like that could be our dark if we really wanted it to be. Hmm. Twitch is being twitchy for Cosmic Dancer. That sucks. Sorry to hear that. Weekend. Uh, Paranor says that the weekend is Twitch's update time. I didn't realize that. I mostly stream on weekends. That's, that's not great. All right. So I think... We just kind of like maybe put a couple torches around to mark this off. I'm going to say that the palette is probably going to be the spruce, maybe not the stairs, maybe not the stairs from time to time, but definitely the concrete, coarse dirt, and mushroom block. But it looks like mostly coarse dirt. So I think the first course of action is going to be to just convert all of the stuff that we like to, to coarse dirt. And I don't see anything here that's standing out as like terrible. So I think we're probably pretty good to go. Yeah, okay. Sounds like a plan. I'm not sure what Alistair is up to. Maybe he wants to give us a hand. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to put a lot of stuff back. Cool. Let's see if he wants to help with the path. So I will leave that in my inventory for now. I don't need... So put the wood stuff back. We'll put slabs back. Keep the brown concrete powder. I didn't try the andesite, but I think I think we're okay without the gray. If we go gray, we might go gravel. But that's about it. Uh, I don't need that, but I don't have any place to put it. Let's see here. 
don't need the brown terracotta either. What did we decide was the dark block? I think it was the brown terracotta, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And last but not least, we just need a bunch of coarse dirt. So to be careful not to use regular dirt. Oh no, the desert path has been hit by ghasts. I guess he means the path in the nether, with the, the road to the desert. All right, so this is gonna be really straightforward. It's just a matter of replacing stuff, but I need to do it in some places, I need to do it slowly because I, I like the lines of this road and I don't want uh, to mess up what I've got going on with the edges of stuff. I really wanna make sure that you know, the lines that I've done and we spent the last hour working on uh, are all maintained and helps if I can place a block. <laughs> it's just completely invisible again. Nice. <laughs> that looks hilarious. <laughs> I love the elytra texture that we use on the server. It's really fun. Too funny. So there's three here. Like that. And then two there. I think the easiest thing is probably going to be to go along the edges first and then kind of go from there. Would probably be my guess. Uh, no paranoia, uh, despite not being a, an aesthetic builder, that was an excellent suggestion. Yeah, armor does not go invisible. It would be completely OP if it did. So I think we'll just go along here. Like that, and then just lay in the dirt. Uh, losing all this dirt as it disappears underneath the path block. It's so annoying. Uh, I think if you drink milk, I think those are the two ways that you have you can be un turned back into being visible. So has anybody been doing any any path building in their um, in their worlds? Out of curiosity. Yes, you can play the invisible now for invisible man for now. 